What's up, y'all? Another Sabbath day Bible study, Bible reading out of the Torah, Genesis 11. Now the whole earth used the same language and the same words. And it came about as they journeyed east, they found a plain, uh, plain in the land of Shinar and settled there. They said one to another, Come, let us make bricks and burn them thoroughly. And they used brick for stone, and they used tar for mortar. And they said, Come, let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top will reach into heaven. And let us make ourselves a name, otherwise we'll be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. Now this is uh, the Tower of Babel. And there's some extra biblical books that uh, they talk about that that say they they were actually uh, the hint that hint that they were actually trying to build like a stargate, trying trying to get into heaven and actually storm the throne room of God and kill God. It's crazy that as that is, but um. The Lord, the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. The Lord said, Behold, they are one people, and they all have the same language. And this is what they began to do. And now nothing which they purpose to do will be impossible for them. Come, let us go down there and confuse their language so that they won't understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from over the face of the whole earth, and they stopped building the city. Therefore, its name is called Babel, because the Lord confused the language of the whole earth. And from there, the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of the whole earth. Now, the man who was in charge during that time was Nimrod. And when the languages were, when God uh, scattered them and confounded all their languages, uh, the legend of Nimrod went out in all the different uh, societies of the world under different names. A lot of the gods of the different nations are actually Nimrod, for instance, Apollo, Apollo, Apollyon, uh, Osiris, Ra, uh, Mithra, I, I don't remember the rest of them, but there's a lot of, a lot of the gods of the of the world today, a lot of the gods that are worshipped, the sun gods, they're all Nimrod. These are the records of the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old, and became the father of Arpachshad, two years after the flood. And Shem lived five hundred years after he became the father of Arpachshad, and he had other sons and daughters. Arpachshad lived thirty-five years and became the father of Shelah. And Arpachshad lived 403 years after he became the father of Shelah, and he had other sons and daughters. Shelah lived 30 years and became the father of Eber. And Shelah lived 403 years after he became the father of Eber, and he had other sons and daughters. Eber lived four, uh, 34 years and he became the father of Peleg. And Eber lived 430 years after he became the father of Peleg, and he had other sons and daughters. Peleg lived 30 years and became the father of Ru. And Peleg lived 209 years after he became the father of Ru. And he had other sons and daughters. Reu lived 32 years and became the father of Sarag. And Reu lived 207 years after he became the father of Sarag. And he had other sons and daughters. Sarag lived 30 years and became the father of Nahor. And Sarag, Sarug lived 200 years after he become, became the father of Nahor and he had other sons and daughters. Nahor lived 29 years and became the father of Terah. And Nahor lived 119 years after he became the father of Terah and he had other sons and daughters. Terah lived 70 years and he became the father of Abram, Nahor, and Haran. Now these are the ge generations of Terah. Terah became the father of Abram which is Abraham, before his name was changed to Abraham. It was Abram at first. Nahor and Haran. And Haran became the father of Lot. Haran died in the presence of, of his father Terah in the land of his birth, and Ur of the Chaldeans. Abram and Nahor took wives for themselves. The name of Abram's wife was Sarai. That was before her name was Sarah, or Sarai. And the name of Nahor's wife was Milcah the daughter of Haran. 
the father of Milka and Iska, the father of Milka and Iska, Sarai was barren, and she had no child. Terah took Abram his son, and Lot the son of Haran his grandson, and Sarai his daughter-in-law, his son Abram's wife. And they went out together from Ur of the Chaldeans in order that, to enter the land of Canaan. And they went as far as Haran and settled there. The days of it, the days of Terah were 205 years, and Terah died in Haran. That's the end of Genesis 11. Genesis 12 coming up next. God bless you guys.